Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to another episode of Eric Meal Time. Today I'm being joined by Aaron from the Binta Busta channel. This is a special treat. You've been on the channel before. Welcome back. Yes, been on twice before. That's right, you have. And now you've got your channel up and running with videos on it, correct? It is. <laughs> I've got a few videos. Yes. So you guys definitely go check out the Bento Buster. You make Please. I'm waiting for you. Different types of food videos, cooking videos, snacks. Uh, you do a lot of different stuff. I'm branching out. So it is lunchtime today and we're at the office. Are you hungry? I'm very hungry. <laughs> what have we got today? Somebody sent me this actually. It's a Danish MRE, or what, emergency, or what do you call it? Rescue food, survival food? Yeah. Army food, army food. Army food. That's so right. like a meal ready to eat. It's a good sized box, too. This is, uh, it's there's huge. Three, three rations in here, so it's a 24 hour ration. Hmm. Yeah. This is my first time to actually have one. Oh, this is good. You've never so, had the, uh, I've the your, US what, military I've, I've, ones? I've watched your videos, but, um, hmm. I'm very interested because I've just never really had one before, but they just seem so appetizing. Okay, well, so there's three meals in here. I guess we're going to be eating or sampling a meal and a half that's each. Right. Yeah, that's what we're going to try to do. And we have limited time. That's right. So this is the bag. That should be first. We got to heat yeah. up the main Go entree. Just, do I tear it here? Yeah, you tear it right there on the top. And then we'll. The main entree, by the way, for this is Comes up. pork. Pork and beef sticks. Interesting. This so is this, the tricky part. The water, yeah, the water it's going now. Pull out, can you pull out the heating element and show them what that looks like? Looks like a massive tea bag. Oh, it's totally different from the US military ones. Calcium like, oxide and all of other goodies are in there. Yeah, that might be faster. And then this is the entree. It's heavy. Meat sticks with savory rice. Is that right? It's heavy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the beef before. sticks are in here, yeah. This is that's a that's a lot of food in there. This is full of meat. Yeah, it's packed. All right, so let's get that heated up. It looks like it's pretty similar to the U.S. one. You only pour it to that line on the bottom. Did I go over? That's perfect. Is it perfect? Yeah. And this, let's just dump it out and go for it. Yeah. We got to start eating quick. Is this heating up? It should. It, it better. Is there any? Do we miss something? Condiments, spreads, can, looks like a candy bar, peanut butter. Are those fire lighters? This like matchsticks. Matches, yeah. Should we start with some bread? Start with the bread. Should I start with some bread? Yeah. And is there. Okay. Yeah, sure. Get into it. We've got some nuts, hors d'oeuvres. I guess we'll do the hors d'oeuvre course. Holy moly. And would you like some farmhouse pate on that? It smells. It smells sad. Uh, Smells very yeah, German. If you want to bust it in half, I have some uh, some balls we can kind of separate the stuff in. And half the bread. Can I break it? Break in half. Sure. It's like the, it looks like that German bread you buy. Hmm. Oh boy. Do you want to do the pate? Going to? Soft. Yeah. Brussels pate. How does it smell? Oh, oh, look at it, look at oh, it go. Jesus, Jesus. Look at it smoke. Wow. Get a close up here. Woo -hoo. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. This I'm, gonna try the pate. I'm a bit scared of the pate. I'm gonna try the pate, <laughs> yeah. Just a tiny bit of it. I know, right? It's scary. Oh, it smells horrid. There it is. Pate on Thick bread. I'm just gonna open the peanut butter if that's okay. Mm hmm. Dig in. Okay, the peanut butter looks like. Let's go. This isn't bad, actually. Better than I had expected. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know, definitely better than I had expected. Go peanut butter. The peanut butter looks really good. Okay. Crunchy, salty. It looks, yeah, it looks really creamy. That's, that's good. It's good. Mm. More of that. Okay, this is pate number two, the Brussels pate. This one's better. It's better? They're similar. This is a top I like this one a bit better. <laughs> it looks so dodgy. 
<laughs> the bread is surprisingly soft, isn't it? The bread's awesome. You know what? Mm-hmm. I can eat that bread every day, actually. All right, let me try the peanut butter, right? It's good stuff. It's awesome. Right, it's a wheat bread, but it's it's kind of sweet at the same time. Yeah. Oh, oh, the heavier the bread, I think. Oh the boy, we got a mess. <laughs> How many tissues? Not to worry. It's so hot. We have wet towelettes mm. to clean up our messes. <laughs> oh, wait, this is the coffee. It's the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a moist towelette. Colombian phrase by coffee. <laughs> Next, I want the coffee. Okay. I guess it helps if you read the package first, huh? Mm -hmm. Antibacterial wipe. Yep, this is what I was looking for. Instead, we got coffee all over the table. Oh well. Oh well. Do you need coffee? Sure, please. Awesome. The Nest Cafe. Yeah, a bit of cleanup going here. Got some hot water here, boiling hot water from. Guys, okay, so we got we got hot drinks and there's cold drinks as well too. This is a uh, sport drinking powder. Sports drink. It looks like it makes a lot, mm -hmm. so or a couple of cups worth. So who sent this to you? This is oh, that's right. I forgot to mention. Yeah, this is sent to me from Thomas in Denmark. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you so much. He sent me three of them, actually. Are you military, Thomas? That's a good question. Thomas, maybe. Yes. Hopefully you're watching this video. You, maybe. maybe compulsory service there? Not sure. In goes the powder. Oh, boy. Looks like sugar. Smells like sugar. Thank you. Okay, we can try the coffee out. Okay, coffee first. It's coffee. It's coffee. It smells really good. It's hot. It's hot? Okay, it's I've hot. got cold water here. I'm glad you brought hot water and I brought cold, huh? You did that well. Sports drink for you. Thank you. Did it stir oh. up properly just by pouring it in? Spoons. Oh. Give it a stir. It's like when I pack at school. You good? <laughs> Put it in the coffee. This is reminding me of um, 1980s New Zealand. Oh yeah? Yeah. Kool-Aid? Kool-Aid. I give a stir the sweetness of the you know, I, this. It's not too bad. Kind of Gatorade-like. It's like Gatorade. Mm. Yeah, it works. The coffee, what'd you think of the coffee? The coffee, I think I put too much water in there, but it's, it's, it's coffee. I think if you're hiking, this it's, is just, you're just gonna be appreciating anything you get. This is exactly how I like my coffee. Because oh, really? I'm American, yeah, I like it kind of weak. Mm -hmm. I like it a little stronger, but. This is perfect, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so another five minutes on the entree. Yeah. Let's see what else we got here. That is so hot. We've got That's some really fruit hot. mania. No, fruit minis. Got raisins as well. I might open those. Okay, we'll do dry fruits here. That's interesting. Excuse my hands. Yeah. Fruit okay. minis and raisins, huh? It's like trail mix. Okay, let's keep them separate. Oh. Well, these are good. These are sweet. Oh, plums, maybe. Oh, really? <laughs> like something I've never had before. Mango, maybe. What the hell is that? I don't know, but it's delicious. It looks like a little chocolate button, but it's not. No, right? Raisins are very sweet. What is that? Sweet and. It's like they're candied almost. Yeah. Right? What fruit do you think this is? I've got no I'm idea. tasting kind of like mango or plum. It's like a mango, oh, like a dried not mango. Not too bad. 
Mm-hmm. Not I too bad at all. It's not closer to like one of those dried mangoes. Mm. Almost like a, a gummy. A gummy. Or a gummy bear. But with fruit. Would you like to try some mackerel in tomato sauce? Viking food. Mackerel in tomato. How do you even eat this with a spoon? I guess you scoop it out. I guess this is what pirates used to eat to stop them getting biscuits, huh? Getting scurvy. Uh huh. So different from the bread, right? More like a cracker. Let's give it a try. That's what a biscuit is. Would you like some tomato, some mackerel and tomato sauce on that? Actually, this would look really good with this. If you put a little bit there. Okay. You put your spoon in there. Do you have a spoon? No. Use a fork here. Here's a spoon for you. We'll keep this clean. Oh boy. Smell it smells amazing, doesn't it? Mm. I think it's going to go really well with this. Okay. I'm going to try it just by itself. The okay. color is awesome. Go on in. Fish and tomato sauce. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's almost like a tuna. It's good. Not bad. I like that. Right? Mm. Not bad at all. Yeah. Doesn't even need the, the biscuit. No, it's awesome. Right? I was a bit scared, but. Yeah. I'm, I'm scared of the pate. Hey? <laughs> yeah, well, just have a bite then. On the biscuit? That's awesome. Warm? Well, yeah. The bun's coming out there. Thank you. Mmm. And the biscuit might go better with cheese. Mm. It's a bit dry. I guess as a biscuit should be. But this is good quality food. It is. It is. It's like gourmet. Mm -hmm. You can eat this right out of the pack. I mean, it's that, it's that good. It's really good. Roasted salted cashew nuts. Pretty standard. Got some space in here. Yeah. Pour them all so they're really big on, big on the trail mix. They're big on the trail mix. Good mm -hmm. point. I think it makes the nuts, makes the fruit. Yeah, but I mean, it keeps for a long time, probably, oh, yeah. right? It's good energy food. It's a good too. It's all right. Nicely salted. And fresh. Mm. Soft. And there's more of the wheat bread. There's two servings of the wheat bread. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's another sports. There's two sports drinks. One more of this. I think that main entree should be about heated up. Yep. Mm-hmm. This one here. Stick this down the, the old cake hole. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Starting to fill up. Okay, can I open this? Mm-hmm. Here's another looks like appetizer. Tuna tuna flakes in water. Oh, it's warm. So similar similar to the is it warm enough all yeah. the way through? It feels like it. We'll get a bunch of things going here at the same time. Oh, wow. This has got... Is it impressive? All sorts of stuff in there. How does it smell? <laughs> Give it the smell test. It smells like... <laughs> it smells like vegetables. It smells like vegetables. Mm. It's like a combo... God, it looks like... Um, Looks like a burrito that's been smashed. Oh boy, rice. But there's also sausage in there too, correct? There go. There's tuna in here. There's a sausage in there. Tuna. Jesus. Our protein. Gonna get you. Oh, pretty standard. There's a sausage. I do know. Okay. There is a sausage. There is a sausage. Are you going right for it? <laughs> no comment. It looks like a lot of, what, there's lentils in here or something? Or, I think everything's right? in here. This is the works. There's so much food. Wow. I don't eat this much a lot, food. A lot of vegetables in here. Yeah. I mean, compared to the US military ones, this is gourmet food. Look at that, you get a whole sausage. Mm. 
This is more food than I would this eat. Is quali- this is quality food right here. It's 400 grams. That's quite a bit. Oh. Mm-hmm. Not too bad. Do Danish soldiers get any work done if they eat so much food? <laughs> I sit around and have picnics all the time. Good question. But this is a 24 hour ration. Oh. So, you know. <laughs> between two of us. No. Yeah, it was two of us eating this. I couldn't handle this. Food yeah, this, food. definitely. So it's the menu item it's meat sticks with savory rice. Definitely savory, huh? Meat sticks. I mean, yeah. But just, just, it just tastes healthy, right? More of that. <clears throat> yeah, go for it. It is, it's almost like a burrito gone mad. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it. It actually would taste nice if it was in a tortilla. Oh, yeah. Well, like a burrito, right? Very nice. But I mean, again, you could eat it with the, oh, you could eat it with the bread. The spices, the spices. Right? You can eat it with the wheat bread. Right? So there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Combine stuff together. But mm-hmm. I'm very impressed with the main entree. This looks really hot. Oh, it's hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, nice job. Spicy. Okay, I'm just going to try this. Oh, that, whoa. Is that, yeah, kick it up a level? Okay. It's good. It's like, it's a spice. It's a heat coming from left Oh, field. my. That's good. Mmm. Damn. That's a good hot sauce. It's not like a regular one. It's like right. It's like a fancy one. And there's new. F- it's very fancy. <laughs> it's more. It's like an oil. It's more creamy than a regular hot sauce. Wow. Nice job, but Denmark. That, that takes it up a different level. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Wow. Actually. Fantastic. Can I steal a little bit of bread? You can. <clears throat> What I'll do is I'll get some fish flakes and um, put some hot sauce on them. Okay. This is what people in Denmark do apparently. There you go. That's maybe they do it. I'm going to take this. They do no work. They just sit around and eat fish. Oh, there you go. There is a creation right there. Yeah. I think... Good thing you found that hot sauce. And it sort of saves everything, huh? Takes everything up a notch. Ready for a sweet one? This is strawberry porridge. It looks horrible. It smells amazing. Yeah. Well, it could be... No, there's several things here. It could be strawberry porridge. It could be fruit of the forest porridge or apple. I think this is apple porridge. It's like baby food. Apple porridge. Baby food, you're right. No, it's good. It's spicy. It's got cinnamon or something. There's definitely an adult flavor to it. It looks like baby food. It's, it does look like baby like food. Apple but no, there's, it's, apple got, it's got some spice in it. Taste that? It's like um, that looks goes the size of Danish. Ah, okay. Could be. Something. Denmark, Denmark Danish? Danish? Yep. So they ran out of pastry, so they gave us this. I guess so, huh? Yeah. What else have we got? Let's try the chocolate bars. Hot sauce is good. There's two different... Well, let's see. Thomas, do you know anything about this hot sauce? (laughs) Yeah, we we were... Because this is really good. I could... The hot sauce, yeah, is very special. It looks like there's two... What do you call these things? Like... uh, they're calling it the organic fruit and not bite, but like a... Probably like a date bar. Date bar? Mm. Okay. Cut this in half. This is good. Great. Here you go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's like dates. Apple cinnamon flavor. That's good. Energy bar. Yeah, it's called raw bite. And there's another one with 
it's raw cacao flavor. Like a normal date bar. Mm-hmm. A lot of calories, man. Here you go. Mm. <laughs> Looks more like a chocolate bar, but a lot of nuts in it. Like a power bar. Yeah. I think I like the mm -hmm. date the one the one before better. They're both good though. They're they're good. Hmm. Right? And there's a chocolate bar. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate bar by itself. As well too. Let's try the chocolate. Hmm. Mm. Pretty standard milk chocolate. What is it? You call that, what do you call that, scrogan? What do you call that? Hmm? Do you, do you call it tra trail mix? Mm-hmm, trail mix. I think in New Zealand we call it scrogan. Oh yeah? I don't know what the hell that means, but <laughs> that's, I don't call it scrogan, I call it trail mix, but. Mm-hmm, let's do it. Chocolate and nuts and fruit. All right, well, we've got some jam and marmalade here, but. I think we've pretty much done everything. I guess we'll, we'll give this a try. We'll try it on the bread. I'm gonna stuck into this. Would you like to try this? Me? Yeah. yeah. Um, setting it up for you. Andros brand jam. Yeah. It's like blueberry, well, no, blackberry. It's blueberry, raspberry, and strawberry all combined together. Looks like. No. I'm just waiting for the hot sauce. Yeah, right? I think the hot sauce might be the item that we liked the best. They don't tell you the brand. There is an address on here though. Yeah. It's quite amazing. The secret hot sauce remains a secret. Wants some sort of should, we, should we write to them? Jeez. Yeah. All right, well, this was the Danish MRE, 24-hour ration. Aaron, bento buster. We just the sweating like hell. What did you think? Would you like some more sports drink? I'm okay. Oh, You're okay? I'm okay. All right. I'll get my coffee. Okay. I think that there's a lot of food, man. I don't know how they eat it all in one day, um, but it's, it's good quality food. It's definitely quality, right? I didn't, if it was military food, I, I didn't know the military ate like this. So it was really good. Especially if they're carrying it in their day packs. You guys eat well. Yep, they're definitely rivaling the yeah. American MREs for mm. sure, I think. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's more gourmet like, I think, huh? Yeah, but if this was like an emergency food for an earthquake, I think I'd be looking forward to the earthquake. Yeah, right? I've got two more boxes, just so maybe, the, I'll, maybe I'll hang on to them. Yeah, or if, if I was going to take a trip out to the mountains or something. And I would pack one of these. That's always a bonus too, because it's got the matches. Yeah, they all are in trouble. They, they, they all have the matches. Oh, they do. Yeah. All right. Do you care to rate the meal on a one to six? Where would you go? This is the Bento Buster, by the way. While he's thinking about his rating, I want you guys to go over and subscribe to his channel. There'll be a link right up here. He's got some very, very cool videos over there. Short cooking videos. Very short. I think you guys will enjoy them. And you've got Japanese cuisine on as and, well, too. And, and Japanese qu quirky stuff. Quirky stuff. Quirky He's stuff. got a good channel. He's, I, he, I'm very impressed with what you've done with the channel in Thank a short amount of time. Thank you very much. Definitely check him out. Yeah, please. What will I rate this? Yep. Um, I'll, because I've never had one before, i got nothing to judge it, but... I'd say this is, to me, out of a, if it was six, this is like a five. Five, gonna go five, no, yeah. no. Because this is good quality food. It is. You could buy this in a delicate, like if I went to, like I live in Japan, so we live in Japan, but if I went to like um, a foreign supermarket store, um, this is the sort of stuff that I would buy. It's good quality, look at that. I mean, that's top quality and it, stuff. And it's got long shelf life, yeah. so it's pretty incredible. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna be like this. Full of flavor, the flavors yeah. are good. Very Not good. bland. Yeah, everything's got good flavor. I think I'd have to go five as well too. Don't know. It's 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 right up there. Yep. But still on the quest to find the best survival foods. Mm. 
Is there a six out there? Yeah. I wonder. Do you guys have any recommendations? What country for has the best one? Right. Mm. Which country? It's uh, apparently a lot of countries make these. So, yeah. But way to go, Denmark! And thanks again to Thomas for sending this. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah. It was delicious. Cheers. And thank you guys for watching. Look forward to reading your comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out Bento Buster. Link's right up there. Japan. Also another link down here. See you guys in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.